What did she say? It says Dealer thought he was a smooth talker. Oh, this is State Boys. Oh, yeah. Gots to. Gots to. Gots to. State Boys reaction, bro. And we got to put this on the two. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If y'all watching on the two, let's get out. So the State Boys, two men are pulled over, and the trooper can tell that they are very nervous. After talking to the driver, his story doesn't seem to be adding up. What will the troopers find? Oh shit. Spin around. Right now. The state boys on the highway. Do the speed and the state boys don't play. The state boys on the interstate. She likes his cool and he gets tags of the day. Stay boys on the highway. Did you do sideways? Stay boys on the interstate. Three fast on stay boys don't play. Stay boys. By the counselors from the Louisiana State Police, multiple sheriff offices, and city police. Webster Parish. On May 17, 2021, a trooper with the Louisiana State Police, Troop G, observed a vehicle commit a traffic violation. The trooper conducted a traffic stop and made contact with the driver, 56-year-old Alan Carter, and tells him the reason for the stop. Hey, how are y'all doing? Doing fine. How you doing? I'm good. Um. You mind come step out talk to me? It's, a, it's our policy to always have a driver out of the car. Not a big deal. I appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah, go ahead and put your shoes on. What's that, sir? Oh, yeah, you're good. You're good. Texas, Juliet, X-ray, Juliet, 7, you didn't want to grab your shoes? What's that, sir? You sure? Yeah. I don't want you to get wet feet. What the hell? Look, this is the reason why I pulled you over. You kept it drifting off to the right, drove off over that solid white line. Just make sure you're not falling asleep or anything like that. I am tired, but no, I'm not falling asleep. <laughs> I'm a truck driver, sir. Oh, okay. And guess what? We just, I'm moving. I just got me a house in Florida. Oh, nice. So, yes. I got gotcha. you. From Pennsylvania? Well, I'm from, I'm originally from Nevada. Okay. But uh, I'm moving from Pennsylvania. Oh, I'm not giving that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rental. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you from Washington? or No, not even. I was trying to figure it all out there. <laughs> it's a rental. Okay, okay. Y'all uh, rented in California? Yes. Good deal. So you said you just bought your house? Yes. Well, congratulations. That's my second. Oh, it's your second That's house? Second. Okay. Yeah, you can be able to. How long have you been doing uh, 18 wheeler driving? 30 years. That's a long time. My grandfather used to do that. I love it. Yeah. You go all over the country or? 48 states. Where are you, uh, where are you like the most? <laughs> I really don't like nowhere the most. I mean, you know, I've been I guess Florida, years. right? <laughs> Florida, Florida, yeah, I like Florida, but uh, as far as. I mean, I'm 30 years, man. Every place is, you know, about the same. California has the all. worst traffic. Uh, New York has the smallest now. freeways. Uh, there's no hills in Florida. So I go on and on. You know, there's differences in everything. You know. I got you, guys. So, so uh, you rented this in California, right? Yes. Oh. Were you were you living over there temporarily, or? Uh, no, actually, my truck is broke down in Oakland right now. Oh. You can call my company. I drive no, from Western Fly Express. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That stinks. So. You Truck's breaking down, bought a house, just loaded up everything you had. Yes. Go to go to Florida, I guess. What part of Florida? I, I didn't hear. Orlando. Orlando, okay. Right next to Disney World. Yes. Nice, I got you. Is that, is that your My nephew? Nephew. Orlando. Okay. Orlando. okay. <laughs> so he's going with you over there, yes. help you move all your stuff, kind of yes. thing. Yes. Very good. That's good. Uh, what's his name, if you don't mind me asking? Carlos Solomon. Is so he's from Florida. He, how did yes. he get over there? Huh? He flew out. Oh, he's he flew out to come see you. Me, he's helped me. Not only has he never been in California. Yeah, I used to live in California. Right. So, uh, where? Ripon. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ripon is right outside of Stockton. Got it. It's an hour south of Stockton. Right where all the truck stops are. Yep. It's a little small town. Ta well, I exactly when I lived where. there, it was a small town. I so. know exactly where Ripon is. <laughs> I stopped to find Jay all the time. There you go. There you go. Um, what would you say his name was? Carlos Solomon. Carlos Solomon. Okay, okay, okay. Good deal. All right, can you come step over here real quick? 
Oh, that way away from the road hey. traffic. Then. It sounds like a good conversation. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. They talk, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't look too suspicious right now. Excuse me. Hit you anything like that? You're good to go, okay? Just hang tight for one second, okay? Oh, oh, my God. Why don't you say that for nothing? I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't two. give... I never... <laughs> last time <laughs> I got pulled over by the police was Check. about 20 years ago at Lake Havasu Scales. So I don't get pulled over. You know, it's like, man. And nowadays... I don't know, know, but about. nowadays, you know, I'm like, man, you know, you know... Uh, <laughs> you know... I well, we've been cool together, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Nothing to be too nervous about, man. Just hang tight, okay? Thank you. At the Hearing Allen's itinerary, the trooper then goes and talks to the passenger of the vehicle, 35-year-old Carlos Michael Solomon, to see if their itinerary matched. Oh, shit. Hey, bud. What's your, what, what's your name, man? I'm sorry. Carlos, sir. Carlos? Yes, sir. Good deal, man. <laughs> um, look, I was telling him the reason why I pulled you all over, man, is he drifted over to the right, drove on top of that solid white line. Just make sure he's not falling asleep or anything like oh, that. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So, uh. He's not asleep. What's that, bud? just talking to me. What's that? I said, he's not falling asleep. He was probably just talking to me. It happens. But we never know until he talks to somebody, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, bro? I think I laugh. Florida? I got you. Do you have your uh, ID on you, bud? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, you might take a look at it real quick. You might have found it. It's just for cigarettes, man, sir. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Look, so, I don't know if you know, but. A, when the traffic stops made, everybody in the car has to identify themselves, okay? Yes, absolutely. I don't, no problem. I just didn't know what I did. <laughs> no, that's it, man. You want to slide that out for me? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Cool. Yes, sir. Where y'all coming from today? What's that? I, I can't hear you, man. I said we're riding, sir. I'm just not understanding why you're questioning me, sir. No, I'm just talking to you. Okay, well, I prefer you not to ask me any questions. You don't want to ask? You don't want to answer any questions? It's not. I don't want to ask any questions. I'm saying, like, why are you asking me? Like, I'm just making conversation. You don't want to have a conversation with me? It's not Hell like, no. Nah. Conversation with you. I'm just not. Like, oh, I would have told his ass straight up. Or hell no. I know what you're trying to do. Man, you ain't trying to get these stories mixed and matching. No, I don't want to talk. You can have my ID. Get the fuck away from my window. I'm just asking a question. Sorry. I was just asking where y'all coming from. Y'all going to Florida? How's Florida this time of year? Is it nice? Yes, sir. Look, I'm a talker, bro. Okay, okay. Well, I'm a talker, well, that's all. Alright. No big deal, man. Alright, hang tight, okay? You said that's your, that's your nephew? Yes. I got you. He seems real nervous. <laughs> he don't want to talk to me. Oh. I've been talking to you like I've been talking to you. you know I mean? well, he, he's much younger too, so the younger okay. generation, you know, what's going on in the world nowadays, he's, he's a little bit more radical, if you know what I mean. I gotcha. So, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Hang tight one second, man. Okay. Just uh, like I said, stay away from the road if you don't mind. And uh, no big deal, okay? All right, thank you. trooper muted the body cam and runs their license it took a total of six minutes then the trooper asked Allen more questions about his florida move so um i'm trying to get, just make sure your driver's license everything's squared away with oh, that no, I'm, I'm, i drive trucks for a living man 30 years well you know my license right, is part of my job though i understand so um while that's doing his thing um you said you bought a house on how much you paid for that house in Orlando? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's on the beach? No, hell no. <laughs> there's no beach in Orlando. There's lakes. Well, there's lakes. There's no well, real that's beach. That's what I meant. There's you no know. real beach, no. Yeah. How big is it? Uh, twelve hundred. Twelve hundred and seventy-five square feet, I believe. It. Really? My wife went down. She researched it. She's the one did everything. I got gotcha. you. Well, where's she live at? She lives down there? Or? She's in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Up in Pennsylvania? Yeah. I got you. I got you. So you had like a little... Uh, My truck right now is in Golden State is in Golden State uh, Freightliner. Golden State Freightliner? They had to take the whole dog on the engine block off the top of it. Good Lord, man. Is he had a mass, mass en engine failure? No, it was some kind of... Uh, 
to start missing and something like that. So. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he took my some trucks and shit. Oh yeah. God. Reno. Reno. Okay. He asked him how much his fucking house is. Yeah, houses all over the place. <laughs> I'm 56. Uh, yeah, I've lived all over the country. I got you. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a veteran. I've lived in Savannah, Georgia. I've lived in Savannah, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Sacramento, LA. I got you. Yeah, San Antonio. I got you. What's in all those duffel bags? Oh God. All my stuff, yeah. It's all clothes and stuff yeah. like that. Usually, you have boxes and stuff, pots no, and pans and all that no, kind of no, stuff. No, no, no. Uh-uh. I got you. I got you. She's got the pots and pans. Oh, she got all the pots and pans. That's up there. my stuff. We separated for a while. Uh, okay, okay. You know, I separated. You know. I got you. All right, man. Let me go check that thing out. Uh, like I said, just stay away from the road. Yeah, man. That thing had my butt burning up. Yeah, you don't have to sit on the car. In He's seen house, all them duffel bags and shit. Fast, oh, really shit. Unexpected happens. The winner. The body camera goes mute again after other troopers pull up to the scene. While it's mute, we switch over to the arriving officer's body cam and see what their conversation was about. This is about to sit your butt on there. Yeah, your booty on the Put your booty on fire. What's the old saying? Put some fire in your booty on there, man. What you do that? There and there, I told him, I said, man, I, I drive. I drive for a living. I drive trucks for a living. So yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I take my shoes off. That's how you drive a truck? Huh? That's how you drive a truck? You with them shoes? Yeah. Oh, they don't get aggravated. Can you drive for them? That's a fire truck. That's a fire truck. You got like 1,100 trucks. Really? I know you've seen WFX. I know you've seen WFX out of Oklahoma City. You see They got a lot of them down here? Yeah. Right. Atlanta? You just said Florida. At Golden Gate. So where are you going? We're going to my new house. What at it? Here? Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, what's the truck, bro? Ooh. Is your wife in the car? No. Atlanta? Alan Carter for consent to search his vehicle. Look, sir. So I want you to look over this real quick, okay? This is a voluntary consent to search form, okay? So all that's asking, I want you to read its entirety. Is uh, to grant me permission to search the vehicle and all the vehicle, uh, all the contents within the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have the right to refuse this at mm -hmm. any time. Okay? okay. You have the right to refuse this right now if you okay. want to. So all, that's all it's asking. I want you to read over it, make a decision if you want. If if you grant me a, okay to search the vehicle, you're gonna sign right here. If not, that's fine. Now, now you're not. I'll be out here putting all my stuff in my bag. I've seen it done before. No? Yeah. 
No, if I sign this, that's a consent. Well, it's a voluntary consent. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah. You re refusing the yeah. search? Okay, yeah. that's fine. I mean, I got nothing to worry about, but I'm not going to be out here on the side of the road put my stuff back up because you guys aren't going to put it up, so no. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. Man, yeah, shit. One Ready for the call that K9 unit. The Albany community, the Albany Police Department wants to talk to you. After denying permission to search the vehicle, another trooper runs a K9 around the vehicle to do an open air sniff for the presence of narcotics. Well, remember when I initially told you that I pulled you over because you drove over that solid white line that's going to blade and usage here in the state of Louisiana. Okay. So, so having that being said, do you wish to uh, give him a grant? Do you grant him permission to look in the vehicle? Oh, of course not. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do that. That's fine. That's, fine. that's your right. You don't have to. Okay? But at this point, what's going to happen is I'm going to run my K9 around the exterior of your vehicle. And if you have a K9 indication, you know, her train holders in the interior of your vehicle, you have probable cause to search your vehicle in its entirety. Okay. So having that being said, man to man, Okay. If it's not, then. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't have anything, any weapons on you, sir? No, man, it's nothing in my pockets at all. I'll be Alright. Well, you don't have to sit on the car, you don't have to sit on the light. Damn. Yup, she alerted. She sat down. The dog sat down right there beside the trunk. Straight to the trunk. Quick search, the trooper finds something illegal and both men are placed under arrest. Ain't he open it yet? Thank you, 
1079 Region 3. My question is, can I have my shoes though? Yeah, I'll grab them for you. Where are they at? Man, you good, you good. Relax, relax, relax. You got your phone right here? Might be the third set, man. 79. Call me 1015 with both those subjects. Alright, I'm going to patch you down one more time, okay? You right there? Yeah. Well, not yeah, really. I don't mean as, as good as you're going to get. Can you kick him on? Yeah. It's cologne. What is this? Cologne. Cologne. Nothing but weed, man. It don't matter. Echo 60. Yeah. Get it on. Yeah. 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 That's not weed. There's nothing. Look, there's nothing. No, I'm talking about that car. Go ahead. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and make that phone call. You know what you got yet? Why are you so aggressive with me, man? I'm just lying near to the car, bro. Okay. Hey, look, it's a download hill. 966. I'm trying to figure out how much. All right, buddy, you good? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. I just don't want you to fall down the hill, you know? All right. Hell no, I know what you mean. I-12, you just set the 49. Oh, shit. Damn. How much is it, man? Every bag? You said every bag. Somebody loaded up. 79 units. Probably got 10 duffel bags full. Just throw it all back in there. Yep. <laughs> uh, Jenna, uh, Knowing how much you pay is just how shopping works. So why should car shopping be any different? We got about 10 duffel bags full. Hey, hey, I, I told you, I did just get a house in Orlando. I, I put that on my grandma's grave. I got gotcha. you. That's true. I got gotcha. you. I just could tell you're nervous, this, man. You were super nervous. So. I didn't think I was that nervous. I thought we were having a nice conversation. We were. We were. We were having a nice conversation. What's the deal with all that, man? What do you mean? With all that? Mexican asked me to take it down. Your nephew flew over there to just help you drive kind of thing? No, actually, no, he didn't know nothing about it. Oh, he knew about it. No, he didn't. Oh, if no, you're riding in the car with that much weed, you smell it. No, guess what? I'll tell you right now. Could you smell it? A little bit, yeah, actually. Yeah. Huh? The cigar you had in the front was trying to cover you know, it up. I do I smoke could... cigars. I yeah, smoke but cigars. I'm saying you could smell a little bit of weed in there, yes. All right, Look, you want to go in this back unit for me? No, I need to call can, my wife. Is there any way I can call my wife? Why don't you call her? I got two sets of cuffs on them. You can double lock them so they don't tighten up in tight because he got big on. He ain't got much reach to All right, man, look. Pull up. All right. All right, bro. Nah, nah, that, nah. They just said it's straight marijuana in there. How much you getting paid for that? Huh? How much you got paid for that? A couple thousand dollars. A couple thousand? Yeah. I don't think I need to talk anymore. <laughs> That's fine, man. You can. No, that's your right, okay? Yeah. Derek, unlock it. He done me for it. You have anybody traveling with you, man? No, pardon me. You have anybody traveling with you? What do you mean? Oh, that shit? Traveling with you? Hell no. Okay. When I told you that story about me going... No, I'm just asking because they had that North Carolina car right there, so... Yeah. That little SUV that just passed. What you, what you need, bud? You need your shoe on? All right. Good? All right. Birdie, Birdie had like buddy? 10 duffel bags full. All right. well, make sure you I don't think that's legal buddy. nowhere. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, that's Cali. It's probably... Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Look, if you spin it. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's cutting me, man. It's cutting me real bad. 
All right, well, you want me to help you off? Yeah, can you, you can grab me as hard as you can? I don't want to grab you as hard as I can, bro. Take uh, your leg. Uh, oh, I can't get out of here, man. Oh, can you spin? It's, it's cutting the hell out of me, man. Jesus. Uh, I got you, I got you. Look. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on, big uh, daddy. Uh, I said, hold on, big daddy. It's cutting the hell out of me, man. Right. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not doing none of that, man. I'm I know, you've been cool. 56, man. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Relax, okay? Be cool, okay? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Good? Just put him in the front. I'm not going you be cool? I'm cool. Alright. Relax, okay? Better? Yeah. Alright, buddy. So you know what? Guess what? What's that? I had no idea what the hell I was doing. God damn. You said calm down, big daddy. The troopers find a total of 254 pounds of marijuana and in the vehicle. And both men were charged with possession with the intent to distribute a Schedule 1 controlled dangerous substance. The driver, Alan Carter, pled guilty to possession with the intent to distribute marijuana and he received a five-year suspended sentence at hard labor and three years supervised probation. The Damn. passenger, Carlos Solomon, pled guilty to a amended charge of possession of drug paraphernalia and had to serve either 10 days in a Western Paris jail or pay a $200 fine. Shit. Sure.